Hi, welcome to the second video in the Power Automate Beginner Series. I'm going to be showing you or get you familiar to expressions and dynamic content. The best way to understand is by doing illustration. So let us go ahead and just create an automated cloud flow. This time around, I'm just going to name it dynamic content. Yeah, I'm going to name it dynamic content. I have also created a form for illustration. I'm still going to show you in other videos how to create form. So this Microsoft form takes in three feet, your first name, your son name, and your email address. And right now, while I'm creating my automated flow, I need to select my trigger. What should get this flow triggered? I want it to be whenever the form is being filled. So I'm clicking on create. Here I have my trigger that when a new response is submitted, which form must be filled for this flow to be triggered? And what I have here is dynamic content and expression. I can easily search dynamic content and expressions. Now I have this. The next step here, I want to collect whatsoever is being filled on this form. I also want to collect it. So that you use the action card, get response details. Over time, you will get used to this different action card. This is saying, okay, which form do you want to collect information from? Is it the same form that got the flow triggered? The next question we have, which is response ID, is asking that what, whose person should I collect the flow for? And that is where we start with the dynamic content. You can see dynamic content is saying whosoever fills the form. Response ID is on the form, and every time you fill a form, it generates a unique ID. So that way, the flow understands that even though I'm putting there a variable called response ID, the value will keep changing based on every attempt that's been made to fill the form. So when you fill the form, it can be number three, then you, the next person is number four, next is number five. So once you submit, the flow gets triggered. Then the ID of the person that filled the form, no matter even if you are submitting something honestly because a lot of people are filling the form, yet all of you have unique ID. So it's going to collect the form for as many as, you know, as filled the form. The value keeps changing, but that is not all. What you can see here is going to be your friend when you continue to learn on this part. The next is, I want to send an email. Send email. I want to send my email. Who am I sending this email to? First, I'm going to open my dynamic content and I have email address. Because my form is open to other people, so that's why we are sending responders mail and email address. Email address is the feed. So I'm going to add email address. Subject. Let me say thank you and call the person by his name. Thank you. And what is the first name? I'm just going to add for your submission. Let me explain the concept of this dynamic content. Now we have more information than we had before. If all I'm doing is here, you see we have restricted information, just only want to consume. So dynamic content use the principle of accounting, which is balance brought down. It collects for you every variable, every information that is available after adding an action card so that you can reuse those information in your flow. This action card here, when a new response is submitted, only collects one thing, that's the res response ID. And that's why you can see the heading when a new response is submitted. The next action that we added was to collect information that was filled by that person, collect them for us, and some other metadata, which has to do submission time and some other things. Now that I've added it, when you move on to the next action, you will be able to use those information from these two cards. And that's what we have here now. You can see that we have, you see, get response details. And that's what we have here. So this response ID is not useful here, but get response details, we now have it here now. The first name, the son name. So these values will help you along that journey. Hi. Again, and call the person by first name. We are glad you are learning Power Automate. More interesting use cases to come regards now that i have this how do i then 
for us to even understand again how dynamic content works remember it always bring down values for you let us add another action card take for example i want to add compose variable where i can show you for compose i want to be able to show you how to do expression do you see that right here we have under compose we have when the new response is submitted and we also have get response details these are the information available for us but what i want here is i want to combine the son name the son name and the first name together and to do that i'm just coming to expression that is one of the benefits of expression there's so many things that's concatenation you can see string functions we want to concatenate so i'm just going to use that string here concatenate what variables are you concatenating i'll come to my dynamic content the variables are here first name i'm going to put a comma and the second test which is the son name so this way i'm going to click ok when i've inserted expressions into my compose action card that's how simple it is and expressions that see are closer to your excel formulas and if i take it take your time to scroll through expression you will see a lot this will help you to convert to lower test to upper the next video i'm going to show you is going to focus on expression so we just use more of these expressions and see okay how they truly works like you can see a whole lot logical expressions conversion functions from flow to numbers mathematical formula date functions these are all expressions that can help you to do your work better and that's all we have there all right so i'm going to save this and let us test how do we test let me say i will submit a response i just want to submit a response and test now it's waiting for me to fill the form i'm going back to my form i'll click on preview i'm just going to put online to report okay what email address and put this and when i click submit that this is the trigger the form itself is a trigger whenever you submit this form the flow will run so let's check the flow now all right our flow ran successfully now you see the get response details is collecting the information for us and you can see it's collected the name or land when you book it, and you can see Aussie. so that's the email i submit under the send email the email has gone to my gmail thank you Orlan. we are glad you are learning power automate more interesting use cases to come regards and when i come to compose function you see it has combined together Orlan and oiboke that's the concatenation uh, function all right so in this video you're able to see what dynamic content truly means especially from the left when you see that dialog box you get to see a lot of information that you can reuse take for example i want to add another compose action compose and in this case i want to extract the date maybe the year it was filled when the form was filled and remember when the form was filled is submission time and if i want to extract value from the submission time i can use Format day time of my bracket. I come here to look for the value submission time and comma. What do you want to do with it? Like what format do you need it? Let's take the the day. Let's take the day that it was filled. Is it Monday? Is it Tuesday? Is it Wednesday? That when you put D four times, it's going to tell you Monday, like Monday, Tuesday, and today is Thursday. I'm going to click OK to insert that function and I will say. Another tip for you is when you are building your flow and you, you, you've tested it once, you don't need to go back and be filling the form every time to test again. You can always come to this test and say automatically. So, recent flow, you can use a recent trigger. So, you have, I've done once three minutes ago and it's successful. So, I'm going to use it to also trigger the flow. So, that way you can test and retest without having to fill the form every time our flow runs successfully so let us check okay still the same information the email still the same email the compose is still on land 
and the second composed action card is Thursday, saying today is Thursday. Thank you.